Here's a quick tip for the mental toolbox. If you're doing many of the same part, you might want to consider turning between centres. In some instances, you don't need anything to drive the part. This part here is quite a large chamfer and just a small centre in the end. And this is a part of my own design, so I've been able to design the chamfer with 60 degrees. And all I've done is turn just a rough bar with a 60 degree angle on there and got my live centre in the back. And due to the size of it, I can put it in. And even with very little pressure, it's solid in there. That's got it. Here we go. At this point, if you're cutting a critical diameter, you are free to take the part out. And if you're sizing it to fit in something, you can do that. You can see if it fits. If it's too tight, you are perfectly able to put the part back in and take another cut, not upsetting run out or anything like that. So I've skimmed all the ODs. That's not critical, that's a, a fresh air dimension. The critical one for me is this, this diameter here. It's got to fit into a ground 20mm hole, so I'm going to go for 19.99. And using my latest acquisition, I acquired this as spares of repairs, so I don't fully trust it yet, because I fixed it myself, but the trust is building. And we're about, you can see that there, we're 5 microns off the mark. It's still a perfectly serviceable part, but as we are in the home workshop, we can mess about and try and get it dead on. All right, here we go. I've got the clock on the top slide, and we're going to try and correct for our five microns. It's zeroed. If it doesn't look quite right to you, I believe that's called the parallax error. But if I get above the clock, we're okay. So, we've now got to go out. And then back in. Now we only want to be going uh, 2.5 microns here, so uh, a quarter of a division. I think this is uh, getting a bit ridiculous, to be quite honest with you. Bollocks, I went too much. Try again. Well, hmm, I'd say it's more of a third, but I think I think we're going to call that good. Let's try another one. Now it's certainly worth mentioning we just spent that time faffing, but uh, I think we'll be fluctuating a, a good few microns just through the setup, really. I'm sure you're probably wondering why I didn't measure it in the machine. And to be quite honest with you, the adjustment we made, we know if it is wrong, it's only going to be out by a few microns. And to correct for that, uh, we're going to have to take into account the spring cut, so we're going to have to back off the tool and upset the whole thing. So I'd rather just deal with a slight error. But 993. So not too bad though. In reality all of this obsessive measuring isn't necessary at all. I've got the gauge right down here. Nice. Well now we've finished fanning about with, uh, excuse the expression, Nat's Cox, we can get on with the job at hand. Yeah, it's just a simple case of sticking them in. 
and away we go. Nineteen point nine one. So right now we have some rather sharp parts because I haven't put chamfers on yet. That's easily sorted. We can put all the chamfers on in one go between centres. It's actually the same. There's a slight taper actually if I measure a bit further down. The 9 4 up there. That's all right, that'll still go in nicely. 